This might be a twist off. I'm gonna see if it's a twist off. It's a twist off. I'm wasting my time. Nobody said I was a smart per smart cookie. And if they did, they lied. All right. All right, so start new game. <laughs> ah. Blood, dirt, and sweat coat my arms to the elbows, and I can no longer tell where any of it came from. I said blood. Literally the first fucking word in the entire visual novel. Drink. What are these tops? That's weird as hell. If I keep going with this, I'll eventually be caught. The hell am I going to do? Turner! A teacher rushes into the office, pushing the door with more force than necessary. I flinched in my seat and sat upright. We were in a seat? I thought we were... Wait. Whose point of view were we just in? Were we in Lane's point of view? Or... Or Sam's? Or was that a dream? I don't even know. This is the fourth time I played through this game, and I still don't... This part, anyway. And I still don't know what the hell that was. She's like, fuck, he's not here. <laughs> After taking a step... Wait. Shit. That was an ellipses. Got a drink. After taking a step in, she stops. She finds me in the chair across from the empty desk. Oh. Hey, you're in my class this year, aren't you? Awful voice for Sam. I don't have a good voice for Sam down pat yet. Also, ellipses. Drink. <laughs> Welcome back, Bo. You're three drinks behind already. And we're six pages into the game. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Ms. Webb. Yeah, this year is the first. <sighs> Ellipses. Drink. <laughs> you know, I was joking about the update being putting in ellipses in every damn law dialogue line. <laughs> she eyes me with suspicion. What are you doing in here? Wait, did that one... Okay, it didn't. <laughs> you have to be under the table, no kidding. <sighs> okay, so... I have to say... I'll mess with them later, but... <gasps> oh... Okay, that's fancy. Look, he didn't say the dashes as well. Thank you for the follow, Sarafuda. Welcome to the stream. You're going to kill me, Todd. <laughs> also, um, I like the bindings. I will say I do like the bindings so far. Hey, Hand. Welcome to the stream, my dude. How are you doing tonight? Also, I don't think I said welcome to Todd. I think I just said hello to him. So, welcome, Todd. And how are you and Sarafuda doing tonight? Because I didn't ask either of you guys that. I'm a little out of it. We had to fight with the controller at the beginning of stream, so... <laughs> I was called in on the intercom earlier, so I'm not sure yet. Okay, please keep waiting. She holds back annoyance, though not very well. 
Holy crap, we've gotten through three dialogue scenes without a drink. <sighs> Glad you guys are doing well. As she exits, she closes the door more softly than she opened it. I look at the space around me. This is the first time I've been here. The administration offices are sectioned off from the classrooms, and this one dwarfs the others. Unattended coffee, or maybe it's tea, sits on the desk. Steam coming from the cup wafts in the sunlight, entering from the window. You're right, the, the, the dashes would kill me too. I take a breath while combing the office with my eyes. Actually, by the smell, it's definitely coffee. On the wall, there's a framed certificate titled Masters of Business Administration. It was issued from a prestigious university about six years ago. So let's try and guess. Um, on the off chance Underwood immediately went into business a business administration career uh, education path right from the moment he turned 18, then he's only 24. Right? Because six years for a master's? But I doubt that being the case. He's definitely not only 24. But that's the youngest he can reasonably be. Unless he's freaking Kurosu, in which case... He's not best girl anymore. Near the degree are sets of frames arrayed with pin butterflies. A wireframe model of a dodecahedron rests on the desk. Because he's a nerd. Interrupting my fidgeting, and this time without a knock, a well-dressed man enters and greets me with a smile. Hi there, Lane. Thanks for being patient. I am the assistant principal, Mr. Underwood. I must not be in trouble, so I stand and extend my hand. His smile curves stronger at the gesture, and he shakes my hand firmly. His grip is stronger than mine. He closes the door behind him, walks to his desk, and seats himself. Holy crap, we've gone through pages. Go ahead, sit. I heard that you were asking around about odd jobs you could do for the school. I return to the same chair across from his desk that I'd been warming and lean forward. Yes, sir. I was wondering if I could make extra money during the school year. Ellipses! We're not even through the first chapter. And I'm already a third away done with my first trick. <laughs> I was thinking of saving up for college. Lane, I hate you. Admirable. You are in your senior year, right? Why not get a summer job? I worked at the lib- wait. Ah, oh, that's how I do that. Okay. Smaller sis, man, I know, right? I worked at the library downtown over the break. I was trying to figure out something more local. The bus schedule makes it tricky. The Kafka Library. Yeah, it's a bit of a commute, nearly an hour each way. How is that downtown? Where do they live? They must live in one of the metropolitan cities. That's the only way that makes sense. You like the Underwood voice? Good. You're gonna have a nightmare about ellipses now. Every VN you play, you'll just think, drink, drink, drink. <laughs> uh, you'd be amazed how many times the word despair and how many unnecessary flashbacks there were in, in uh, Steins Gate. Actually, you probably wouldn't be amazed how many times the word despair came up. He drinks from his coffee and looks past me for a moment. Well, I do have something. I've been introducing the idea to a few of the other seniors. What is your background? I straighten up in my seat. I've had this interview like exchange a few times. I'm from here, so I grew up with a lot of the students. Not that I know them all well, but I'm not shy. My grades are important to me. I'm a hard worker and I've had lots of jobs. Probably more than the other students. 
what constitutes an unnecessary flashback. Uh, any flashback that is flashing you back to anything that has happened within the last half hour in general. Um, the only other time you do um, an, unnecessary, an unnecessary flashback is considered unnecessary if it's past the half hour is if it's something that is like super, super paramount to the series. So... Like, if in DDLC there was a flashback to the scene at, at, at the end of episode one, or at the end of arc one, that would be a good example of an unnecessary flashback. Because no matter how long ago that happened, nobody ever lets that leave their mind. That kind of thing. <laughs> 